It went into a socket and squeaked through its bottle and wouldn't come out again. Oh, because, <coughs> he said, my doctor has forbidden me to pull. Thomas pushed through the trail and built a wall across the socket and he couldn't get out of the tunnel anymore. Edward Gordon Henry, part two. Gordon always pulled the big express. He was proud of being the only engine strong enough to do so. It was full of important people, like the fat controller, and Gordon was seeing how fast he could go. Hurry, 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 he said. Tickly tock, tickly tock, tickly tock, said the coaches. In a minute, Gordon would see the tunnel where Henry stood ripped up and lonely. Oh dear, thought Henry, why did I worry about rain spoiling my lovely coat of paint? Will the back controller ever forgive me and let me out again? I'm going to poop poop at Henry, said Gordon. He was almost there when... And there was Gordon going slower and slower in a cloud of steam. His driver stopped the train. What has happened to me? asked Gordon. I feel so weak. You've burst your safety valve, said the driver. You can't pull the train anymore. Oh dear, said Gordon. You were going so nicely too. And look, there's Henry laughing at me. Everyone came to see Gordon. Huh, said the fat controller. I never liked these big engines. Always going wrong. Send for another engine at once. While the guard went to find one, they all coupled Gordon, who had enough prop to slink onto the siding out of the way. Edward was the only engine left. I'll come and try, he said. Said Gordon. That's no use. Edward can't push the train. Edward puffed and pushed and pushed and puffed, but he couldn't move the heavy coaches. I told you so, said Gordon. Why not let Henry try? Yes, said the fat controller. I will. Will you help pull this train, Henry? he asked. Oh, yes, said Henry. When Henry had got up to he popped out. He was dirty and covered with cobwebs. Oh, I'm stiff, I'm stiff, he groans. Have a run to ease your joints and find a turntable, said the fat controller. <laughs> When Henry came back, he felt much better. Then they coupled him up. Pick, pick, said Edward, I'm ready. Pick, 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 said Henry, so am I. Pull hard, we'll do it. Pull hard, we'll do it. They puffed together. <laughs> We've done it together, we've done it together, said Edward and Henry. You've done it, hooray, you've done it, hooray, sang the coaches. Everyone was excited. The fat controller leaned out of the window to wave at Edward and Henry. But the train was going so fast that his hat blew off into a field where a goat ate it for tea. They never stopped till they came to the station at the end of the line. The passengers all said, thank you. And the fat controller promised Henry a new coat of paint. 
On their way home, Edward and Henry helped Gordon back to the shed. All three engines are now great friends. Henry doesn't mind the rain now. He knows that the best way to keep his paint nice is not to run into tunnels, but to ask his driver to rub him down when the day's work is over. Thank <laughs> you.